what to do in this case. But if you guys have um, something, for instance, let's say you have um, the cosine of theta equals negative square root of 3 over 2. Obviously, to solve for theta, you'd say theta equals the cosine inverse of negative square root of 3 over 2. And that's where this problem is coming through. So we're looking for an angle. All right. Now, I told you not to use your book or a unit circle. So you guys can go back and try to see, all right, you know, can I go back and remember this unit circle? Because throughout this course and at the end, you're going to have to know at least that first quadrant of the unit circle. And I'll just quickly create one here. We have pi over 6, pi over 4, and then pi over 3. Here, our point is square root of 3 over 2, comma, 1 half. Square root of 2 over 2, comma, square root of 2 over 2. And this one is 1 half, comma, square root of 3 over 2. You should by now, and for your final test, Will, if you'll put, flip that over, should be able to do that as quickly as I have. All right? That's obviously the point that I need you guys to get to when you take that test so you're not reliant on a sheet of paper of something that you might have used to originally learn it. Now, we're asking for when is the cosine going to be negative, right? So obviously we look at, well, when is the x value going to be square root of 3 over 2? And there's really only one angle that we have, which would be pi over 6. However, we're looking for when it's going to be negative. So you guys can see that if I take this angle in the second quadrant, my cosine would be negative, correct? Yep. That would be negative square root of 3 over 2, comma, 1 half. It would also be negative down here in the third quadrant. Negative square root of 3 over 2, comma, negative 1 half. So now we need to be able to determine what those two angles are. Well, if this is pi over 6, this would all the way around would be 6 pi over 6. So this angle is <coughs> theta equals 5 pi over 6. And this one is just an extra pi over 6 over, so this would be theta equals 7 pi over 6. Now, here's where it's just going to get a little bit tricky that I need you guys to make sure you write down. No, when evaluating, <clears throat> when evaluating the inverse of cosine, the inverse of cosine is only going to be within the constraint of 0 and pi. All right? So our, const our constraints. For um, the our constraints for cosine is only between zero and pi, so therefore, this is not going to be your inverse function there. Only, or this is not going to be your value for the angle, Tiffany. This is not going to be your angle. When you type it into your calculator, you only get one answer. The one answer you get is five pi divided by six. Obviously, they give it to you in decimal format, but they don't give you two answers. When you're evaluating the inverse cosine, you get one answer. And this is the answer because the constraint for the inverse of cosine is between 0 and pi. All right? This is not something that we. Is that the piece going to the No. No. 